prosecution as Kenya files paper denying no official record or proof Nnamdi Kanu was extradited from Kenya to Nigeria. They are crazy. They are crazy. And they, they are talking to kids. Even some, is it something that everyone saw? So, so pictures or videos at lie, at, can, can tell lie. You see? See how these people want to quietly remove their head? They are, do, do they think that they are talking to kids? Or do they think that no proper, no proper proof? Is it something that even Malami himself has on the, They just want to put everything on the head of Wari and Malami. And that serves them right. That serves them right. But Kenya, they are, they are big fools. They didn't know that by doing, by saying this, they are even implicating themselves the more. What do they call, 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 call Nigeria? What do they call Buari? What do they call Malami? Or what do they call the judge himself? What do you call the judge? Eh? Something that Malami has already owned up that yes, of the truth, he extradited Nankano from, from Kenya. But he never knew that it is illegal. And someone in Kenya is trying to fight crazy people. Which is, you see, that's why I said in law. Someone said something that all our teachers but not all can teach. Same goes to law. All are lawyers but not all can defend cases. And that is why today we have quack lawyers. That's why today we have hungry lawyers, charge and bills, people who cannot pay their bills because they are not standard enough to defend cases that will give them money. You understand? For you to be a, a qualified lawyer, you must be defending, you must be convincing, you must be strong and intelligent. Do you understand? Not just to go and bear the name that I'm a barrister and stamp it as a sticker on the, at, at the back of your vehicle. It's crazy. Who are you talking to? Let's check the content, my dear listeners. Court paper filed by the Kenya Attorney General have shown that the repatriation of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipok Nandekanu, to Nigeria was illegal. This was disclosed by a brother to the detained Ipok leader, Keyunta. Kanu, according to a statement issued by Aloy Ijmako, Kanu's special counsel. The Kenya government, according to the statement, has filed an affidavit stating that there was no immigration record of Kanu's departure from Kenya after his last arrival on 12th May 2021. Kenyunta stated that the affidavit is an official confirmation that the Nigerian government had contravened the provision of the Kenya, Nigerian constitution and international law. The statement reads, in the latest affidavit filed by the Kenya government in defense of the suit filed by Mazin Kano in Kenya, it asserted that there was no immigration record of Kano's departure from Kenya after his last arrival on the 12th of May 2021. In the affidavit drawn up and filed by the Attorney General of Kenya and deposed to in Nairobi, Kenya on 10th of February 2022, arrival and departure record from Kenya from 17 July 2019 to 12 May 2022 when he last entered Kenya. Paragraph 12 of the affidavit stated that it is evident from the schedule below that since 17 7 2017 2019 the new one Namde kanu okukanu has visited and departed kenya on several occasions paragraph 13 of the affidavit states that from the above travel history it is evident that his last arrival date was on the 12th of may 2021 and there is no evidence exhibited to prove that he thereafter left the country. Paragraph 14 of the affidavit stated that I am not privy to his canon's arrest, detention, or extradition. It is pertinent to note that this affidavit, having been drawn up and filed by the Attorney General of Kenya, is the clearest official confirmation yet from the government of Kenya 
that what happened to Nandekano in Kenya amount to crime, both in Nigeria and Kenya and under international law. With this latest development, Kano's ordeal in Kenya has turned a new corner where domestic and international criminal indictments will lie against the persons that directly or indirectly participated in this high crime. It has gone beyond extraordinary rendition. A 50 count terrorism charge was slammed on Namikano by the federal government. He pleaded not guilty to the charges and asked the court to discharge and acquit him without standing trial because the charges were incurably defective and not worth being defended. Hmm. See, my dear listeners, it is a very big shame. I'm very disappointed that beds of a feathers flocks together. These people are beds of a feathers. All of them are beds of a feathers. No lie. Look at even the Kenya Anthony General. Because he wants to dodge the head of the Kenyan government, he came up and saying lies that there was never a time that the Kano left Kenya to Nigeria. Look at what, what, who is he trying to talk to? Or if they play the video to him, will he say that this video is a fake video? Or if by this time he's showing the photograph, Nandi Kano was standing with the Kenya Special Police. When they captured him by blinding his, his two eyes, what is he going to say? Who are they? Are those special police, Nigerian police, American police? <laughs> hey, so crazy. Mad people everywhere. Crazy people everywhere. They are not going to be as they, they are going nowhere. They too are coming back to the court after. Nigerian government, at, when, after IPOP is true with the Nigerian government, they too will pay through their nose for all the things they did to Namikano, they will never go scot free. And that is what Namikano is trying to fight for. That's why he said he doesn't want an ordinary release, but rather he wants justice before he's, he's, leaving the, he's leaving that detention. And I concur and support Namikano. Justice is what he wants, and justice he must get. So, my dear listeners, I want you to concur with me because that is the reality. Be you a Biafra, be you not a Biafra. I am not a Biafra, but I'm standing with this man. Because what this man is fighting for is a just fight. Do you understand? It's a just fight. This is not a question of being biased. Because this channel is not a biased channel. We only say what is true and what is right to the public. So I want to start getting in your opinion on this very matter. Let it start rolling in. Okay? So let's start passing the message to them so that they will know that we know what they know. Do you understand? So if you are new, don't forget your comments still are very much welcome. Don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.